the men from Bravo Company, from the Army's 1st Infantry Division. For many of them, it's their first tour. These mountains have a reputation as a place to avoid. Attacks are at an all-time high. Their assignment? We got some intel that uh, there's a Russian force operating in this area. Uh, we're to send out patrols in search of uh, their main operating base and to eliminate the uh, Russian presence in this area, free the Ukrainian uh, population from the uh, Russian oppression that has been placed on the, the locals here. Today, the soldiers are headed to the hamlet of Obanov. The men from Bravo Company want to find out why a village that was once friendly has turned hostile. Uh, potentially a, a dangerous spot for us. Just need to make sure my guys uh, keep their eyes open and up on the ridges there. Make sure they choose their next cover and conceal a position before they start taking contact. Yeah, they always watch us. I know they're watching us. You can't really pinpoint on them. Just gotta keep on scanning, keep your head on a swivel. That's all you can do. Hope the Apaches get them or mortars. Open paths expose them to snipers. All around on patrols. Don't know they're there till they start shooting at us. It's kind of scary to know you got a sniper out here. American forces man small combat outposts. Yeah, anybody else that can They come under attack, sometimes daily. Yeah, it's up. Coming to you. They're coming a lot closer when they start firing on us now for some reason. It's supposed to be this whole month, so I expect this whole month to be bad. It's already been a bad few days for our company. It has been called the Forgotten War. A war that military commanders concede has deteriorated markedly over the last two years. This is a war that has not received the strategic attention, the top-level attention uh, that it has required, and that's why it's deteriorated. The president will be told, you need to spend more money on training troops, you need to recapitalize the military and equipment, and you might have to think about increasing the size of the military. As one officer at the Pentagon put it to me a couple of years ago, we're out of Schlitz. There are no extra troops left on the shelf. We're at our limit. U.S. commanders are saying they urgently need more soldiers to stem the tide. They've requested 15,000 additional combat troops, but only 4,500 are currently available. SOCOM is stretched thin. We knew when we got deployed here that we would have little material support once we got boots on the ground. This mission is requiring us to be resourceful with what we packed in, and for what we don't have, we have to make use of what we can find. Because of the unique nature of this operation, regular Army logistic support is minimal. It's a much larger geographical territory. It's a much more difficult terrain. The enemy is more dispersed. The enemy is of a different character. If U.S. policy is based on the premise that U.S. troops are going to fight this war for five or ten years, then that policy is likely to fail. The president will face a situation where in the next year or two he will have to make the decision that either to massively reinforce and to wage a war very aggressively or to get out. Trying to secure a country that is larger than Iraq. It's a tenuous holding strategy. Mr. Obama will find that uh, their dreams of straightening things out with two brigades are exactly that, their dreams. What do they say? Along the way, Bravo's translator picks up radio chatter. Talking about uh, they're not here yet, but get ready. It could signal an impending ambush, but just as likely, it's the militants taunting the soldiers. Can you hear this? You are ready to kill someone or you are ready to die. Across the valley, Camp Vegas, a small outpost, is under attack. 
It's uh, Vegas. They're in a tick. They're taking contact. Uh, apparently they've got meter, uh, enemy 100 meters outside their wire. Which is good, which means they can actually see me shoot them. What do you get? Uh, I have no visual on anything. I got no visual on anything. Can I get... Is there a defilade over to your right? Really, like hundred meters up here. They keep falling back, and then they push. They just took off, but they keep snaking back and forth. So you have to be careful. It's really open here. We got some more trenches here. We can maybe get over this little berm some more and come at an angle that they're definitely not expecting. This is a war that has been of secondary importance since the invasion. They have the great advantage of fighting with what's also known as the Good War. They just wish they had a little more support. They don't feel that they've had all the resources they need to do what's been asked of them. They understand that they're, they're conducting what's called an economy of force operation, which means we give you what we can afford to give you. Do the best you can. No. I think there's like nine of us or ten. If we figure ten, that's four, about 400 rounds a person. So I don't know how you want to divvy up ammo. Well, it's fine, the guys. Um, they're probably down. Meant, you know, daily coming under attack. You feel almost like bait. You're on the top of a mountain ridge, like a piece of bait, and, and you know it's coming towards you. Be advised, they got an element moving to our right down the hill. Yeah, just be advised. No, it's just you and me. Yeah, and all I got is a pistol, my saw's down. Just keep doing what you're doing. We're on that right flank where you got shot. We're going to be overrun. My saw's down. The box matic exploded. I lost all my ammo. Element right here moving in. Mikey, right here. Right, here. right there, right there, right there, right there. Give me you again. Oh, shit, they moved. Uh, had an opening. They're fighting because it's their area. I mean, this is theirs. They don't like outsiders. There's no one in there that likes us. I don't think the little, even the little kids like us. We try to help them out. And it's so backwards around here. It's ridiculous. It's like we take one step forward with these people and then we take five steps back. The doctrine emphasizes that winning over the population takes resources, and especially troops. That is a daunting and by any realistic measure, long-term project. Frontline is made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you.